All right, today we're going to be talking about the financial menu, and that's a very powerful menu that has lots of options under it. We have time value of money, uh, interest conversion, cash flow, bonds, and depreciation. Time value of money is what we'll be focusing on in this video. So right now I've got it set to 12 payments per year, and end is the mode. That means the payments come at the end of the period as opposed to the beginning. If I go on to other, I can set the number of payments per year. So for example, if I wanted to do 24 payments per year, do a bi-monthly sort of thing, and set it to be at the beginning of the, the pay period, or beginning of the period, then now we have 24 and begin. And if I do clear data here, then that will go ahead and set it back to the default of 12 periods per year and end mode. Let me go ahead and clear data here. It's a good idea to do that before you do any calculation. So we've got a three-year loan, so I could enter three and then 12 to get 36 and then enter that in my N. Or a shortcut is, since we've got it set to 12 periods per year, I could do three years and do shift N and that will automatically enter 36. An interest rate of 10.5, a present value of where we have here, um, a price of 72.50 is the loan amount or, or the price of the object we're going to buy but we're going to put $1,500 down. So 72.50, subtract 1,500, and we'll enter that as our present value. So now what's our payment going to be? Our payment is going to be uh, $186.89, and it's just negative because we're paying down. Uh, just a different sign. But let's say, well, Mm, that's a little more than we're willing to pay, so uh, we'll do 175. That's what I can afford per month. So I'm going to set that as my payment. Notice I've changed the sign to negative. And then uh, go to present value. So that's how much we can afford. And then add in the $1,500 that we're willing to put down. And we get a total amount of $6,800. $84.21. Or to go another way, let's say that we have that same $72.50 minus the 1500 that we have as our present value. Remember our payment is that, but we can only afford that $175 per month. What interest rate would I need in order to make that happen? So the interest rate is 6.03%. So maybe I'll shop around and see if I can get 6% interest rate to buy this thing. Let's start with another example. So here's a 30-year mortgage. We've got monthly payments. We're going to put 12000 down, and we have an interest of 11.5%. So we can afford this much per month. We have this much to put down. Very high interest rates uh, when this calculator came out and the manual was produced for it. Interest rates were higher than they are now. But let's go ahead and clear our data. 12 periods per year and our mortgage is 30 years. So let's go ahead and do 30. Shift in. That gives us the number of periods. Monthly we can afford $630. Change the sign and put that as our payment. And our interest rate is 11.5%. So let's see what kind of a loan we would be able to afford. So we calculate the present value. We got $63,617.64 is the loan that we would be able to afford. And then tack on our down payment, what we have in savings. And that's the total value of the house that we would be able to afford. Let's try another thing. So this is a balloon mortgage. So we're going to have a 25-year mortgage we're going to afford this much, or pay that much, uh, take out that much in a loan. Percentage rate is still very high. And then in four years, we're going to sell it. So let's go ahead and clear our data. I have 25 years, so shift in, 300 periods. I have a present value of 75,250. 13.8% interest rate. And then if I calculate my payments, it's going to be $894 per month. Now, if I go ahead and turn that around in four years, I'm going to set my period now to 
four years, uh, four 48 periods, and then calculate the future value. So 73,408 is the value that we would be able to sell it for at that point. Kind of depressing. We've got another example. Let's go ahead and clear our data. We have a savings account. This is going to be more encouraging. So $2,000 is our initial deposit. That's our present value. We have 7.2% annual interest, and it compounds annually. So we're going to have to go into other and change it to one period per year. And then how long will it take to reach $3,000? Well, first let's enter our 7.2% interest. And then we want uh, 3,000. And let's swap the sign there. This is our future value. And how many periods will it take to get there? It's going to take 5.83 years in order to get to that point, or six, since we're compounding annually. For this next example, we're going to have an IRA deposit $2,000 on April 15th, 1985. It's probably around when this manual was produced, this calculator. $80 every half month, so we're probably on a bi-monthly uh, payment plan or salary. 8.3% annual interest compounded semi-monthly. And how much will we have by April 15th, 2000? So 15 years later, 15 years of doing this. So first I want to set my payment period to be 24 payments per year. I have bi-monthly. Um, we've got 15 years to go, and if I do the shift in, that gives me the number of periods. We have $2,000, which we're going to deposit now. I'll change the sign and put that as our present value. $80 is going to be our payment each period. And 8.3% is going to be the interest rate. So what will be our future value? So we'll have $63,963.84 on April 15th, 2000 or so. Better get to saving. All right, last example. So we have a new car that we can lease for 13, or it's worth $13,500. It's going to be leased for three years, and at the end, the, the lessee has a, the option to purchase it for $7,500. So what monthly payments will yield 14% annually for the lessor, the person who is leasing the car, uh, letting it be leased, who owns the car initially. Let's clear our data. And let's see, monthly payments. And it's going to be 12 payments per year. And it's going to be at the beginning of each month is what the payments are. So we'll do it at the beginning. The current value is 13 500. Our future value is going to be 7,500. And 14% interest is going to be our uh, interest rate. So what kind of payment are we looking at? Whoops, I'm sorry. I need to change the sign on the, the 7,500. All right, now what payments will yield? <coughs> Three years. Fine, got it. Forgot to enter in the three years there. So three years, 36 pay, uh, periods. So we're going to have $289.19 per month would be what yields a 14% uh, interest rate.